measuring in centimetres. Here we have two rulers. They can be used to help us to draw straight lines and underline titles, but most importantly, they're used for measuring length. Rulers can be used to measure in centimetres and millimetres. Centimetres are usually marked with long lines and numbers, and millimetres are a smaller unit of measure. They're marked by the shorter lines. In this nugget, we're going to focus on measuring in centimetres, so we only need to focus on the longer lines and the numbers. The first ruler will allow us to measure things up to 15 centimetres. The second ruler is longer. It can be used to measure things up to 30 centimetres. When you're measuring things, you need to make sure that the ruler that you have is long enough. If the ruler isn't long enough, you could use a metre rule or a tape measure. These rulers are too small to measure this chain of paper clips. So, here, a tape measure would be better for the job. Here we have two lines, one red and one blue. When the lines aren't side by side, it's difficult to compare their length. To compare their length, we can measure them using a ruler. When measuring an object, we must always line up the start of the object with zero. This is where we measure from, not the tip of the ruler. We're going to start by measuring the red line. So, we line it up with the ruler to make sure that the start of the line is at zero. Then we need to focus on the other end of the line. The end of the line is at 11. This means that the line is 11 centimetres long. The letters CM are used instead of having to write centimetres in full. They tell us what unit the line has been measured in. When measuring anything, we must always include the unit. Now let's measure the blue line. Do you think it's longer or shorter than 11 centimetres? Let's find out. Remember, we must start from zero. Now let's take a look at the other end of the line. The end of the line is at 10. So this tells us that the line is 10 centimetres long. This means that the blue line is one centimetre shorter than the red line. Now let's move on to measuring some other objects. We'll start with this highlighter pen. Let's line it up. Remember, we're not lining it up with the end of the ruler. We're lining it up with zero. Sometimes it might be easier to pull the object on top of the ruler or put the ruler on top of the object. This highlighter pen is 13 centimetres long. Now let's measure this paintbrush. It's really important that we measure it from tip to tip. We'll line one tip of the paintbrush up with zero and see where the other tip stretches to. The paintbrush is 24 centimetres long. Now it's your turn to measure these objects. Pause the video and write down your answers. Let's go through the answers now. The pencil sharpener is 2 cm long. The red crayon is 12 cm long. And the scissors are 10 cm long. Well done if you got them all correct. 
Now for one final question. Marcel has measured the rubber and written down his answer. Can you spot two mistakes that he has made? Pause the video and have a think. Marcel's answer is seven, but he hasn't included the units, centimetres. So this is his first mistake. He also hasn't started measuring from zero. The correct answer should be six centimetres. Well done if you spotted both of Marcel's mistakes. So remember... When you're measuring in centimetres, always line up the start of the object with zero. Look at the other end of the object and see where it reaches on the ruler. When writing your measurement down, always include the unit centimetres. The letters CM are used to represent centimetres.